So will this distract you? No. Okay, so this is Michele 22, and this is another uh, couplet, uh, two children that go together, uh, 24 and 25. Okay. Al tisra es bal af, the es ish chemos lo savo, pen te'elaf orchosav, the lakata mokesh lanachach. Okay, not the easiest puzzle to translate. Yeah, okay, so al tisra, um, uh, which is also, it comes from Rab, but look at them, it's just, you know, he says, uh, uh, the so it's like, they have to re'ah ha'kamocha. So al tisra would be, don't be bad. If, if it comes from re'a, like they have to re'a ha'kamocha. They have to re'a ha'kamocha? Um, treat her, treat her, friend like a shooter or something. Yeah. Um, not treat. Re'a. They are hafta, they are hafta, which all know this pasuk. You should love es reacha, your friend, kamocha, like, like yourself, right? So rea is friend. Yeah. So there's a verb form. Be friend. Yeah. There you go. Don't be friend. Do not be friend. Okay. Es bal af. Doesn't mean someone with a big nose. An angry person. Okay. The es ish chemos and a man of chem. Uh, say again. A man of fury. Yeah, a man of fury, and a man of fury. Lotavo. Do not approach. Do not approach. Okay. Oops. Do not approach. Okay. Pen. Lest. Lest. Uh, te'elaf orchosav. So te'elaf is an obscure word for limud, right? Like tilmad kmot ki alef abanef picha. It really you usually see this more in um. Yeah, yeah. You see this more in Aramaic, as I was going to say, like uh. Like um, ul, ulpan, I guess that's a modern Hebrew word, also, yeah. right? Um, but uh, lest you telaf or chosav, unless you learn his ways, and take a stumbling block, uh, close oh, to stumbling block, a snare. a snare, yeah, take a snare for your nefesh. for your your soul, yeah. Wow. Okay, so that's the uh, very good. All right, so that is the. Uh, the uh, working translation. Okay, so we did the Mitzustian already. Okay, that he's just translating it. Uh, that translation. like a good opposite pasuk in a while. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think these are different styles. Okay, um, uh, Saidigon says, Orchosav, uh, or he translates it as, does yours even have this one? No, it doesn't. Uh, so I guess this is just from, oh, it does. Yeah, no, sorry. Yeah. Um, uh, the Arabic is mad ahaba, which is shito, shitosav hamachshavtios udrachav harayonios. Okay, so it says his ways, uh, translating it as his, uh, his like opinions, his, oh, I guess, it's his theories. What? Stances? Yeah, his shitos hamachshavtios. I, I, I don't know, like, it sounds like, like, his shitos in the realm of machshava, so like his like okay. positions. Uh, maybe, maybe, but definitely his his position, his like theoretical positions. Let's say theoretical positions. Udrach of harayonios and his ways of thinking. Okay, so in other words, uh, so it looks like Saudi Gon is trying to distance this from like behavior type uh, orchos, which is usually what you say orchosav is. Okay, so his ways like of thinking. Thing. Yeah, like a, like a person with a philosophy of angry or theory uh that i think we're gonna have to uh analyze because it sounds like it's saying the philosophy or the thoughts of an angry person not necessarily angry philosophy so that, that's what yeah okay and then uh the targum says do not oh that's interesting <laughs> if you had to guess what mari marirusa is like a, very bitter. a very bitter person right so he says Targum says, uh, where are we here? Do not befriend an exceedingly bitter person. Okay, which sounds very different than anger also, right? The yeah. imgavra um, chemsana <laughs> loseol. Okay, that sounds like uh, just a little translation. And do not approach a, um, a man of wrath. The um, or pacha lenafshach. Yeah, all right. So that, that, that's the, so the only thing he really changes is the bitter person. I, I think of Seinfeld when I really for bad. bitter. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Do you, yeah, do you, you watch Seinfeld? Yes. 
yeah. George Costanza. Yep, yep. Um, okay. Our scroll says, yeah, George Costanza is, uh, is bitter. There's an, says, there's an episode about that specifically oh, yeah. when they see older versions of themselves. Uh huh. I don't remember that one. Okay. Uh, do not befriend an angry man and do not come together with a man of wrath, lest you learn his ways and take a snare for your soul. And that's pretty much similar to ours. Although they add the word, don't come together with him. Uh, I like the way you translated it better. Don't like encounter him. You know, uh, Living Knox says, do not befriend a man given to anger or approach an irritable man. Okay, irritable, they say, lest you learn his ways and entrap yourself. And then Alter says, consort not with an irascible man. Uh, <laughs> and uh, consort means to like have any sort of relationship yeah, with irascible. irascible. So irascible, I thought irascible meant like stubborn. Um, like, let me see, define irascible. Oh, no. Okay, fine. I guess irascible does mean having shown a tendency to be easily angered. I didn't know that. Um, and do not join a hot-headed person. So he also says join, uh, even though it says Tavo, uh, lest you learn his ways and take on a snare for your life. And then Alter's footnote says uh, a hot-headed person. The Hebrew ish chemot is unusual as an idiom, but Fox informs us is a direct translation of, of the Egyptian phrase. Because remember, this is Alter's theory that this is all going off the Egyptian uh, uh, and then the minimum of the, the so thing. What's the difference between hot-headed and, and irascible? That's what we're going to have to ask. So let's, uh, okay, that's a yeah, I think that'll be a question. All right, so let's uh, let's just move this down and then ask our questions here. Okay, so let's put that question first, which is um, what... Uh, is the difference between uh, a ball, ball off, and an ish chemos? Um, this will be easy to answer, but what's the difference between befriending the person and not approaching the person? Okay, I don't know if that would be so easy to answer, but it's right. a good question. What is the difference between um, uh, al, al tisra? and low tavo. And then I think in uh, if you combine the two questions, what would we get? Well, it would be, what I mean, what, what's unique about not befriending an angry person versus not approaching them? Right. Or what's the difference? Right, in other words, why and is and like, what, what, what makes each, uh, I don't know, call it piece of- Is it mutual meat. exclusive or is it dependent on general? So, you know, oh, that's also a good question, yeah. So, so let's actually start with that question, yeah. Um, do, both pieces of advice apply equally to both um, types of people, or is each one specific? And by that, I mean, so then again, this is just basic Michelet um, uh, methodology here. Whenever you have a puzzle that says, uh, okay, hold on, it's easier to type this. Okay, um, hold on. Whenever you have a puzzle that says A, to B and C to D, right? Then there are two ways to learn that. Uh, can mean A specifically to B and C specifically to D, okay? Or it could be A and C and C to B and D. I never loved this in ever before, before here. I say that we have this a lot on Monday night, Monday, Monday night, Michelin. Yeah. yeah. Was that gonna went to a horrible school? No, no, this is not, no, no, this is a Michelin point. This is a Michelin point. Oh, this is a Michelin point. Yeah, yeah, and I, I, we talk about this many times and oh. uh, yeah, in fact, we, we talk about it so much that in our Monday night Michelin this year, then we just say, is this an ABCD puzzle? You know, which just means that you can like apply Excuse this here. Can I talk about E for a second? ABCD? Yeah, is it, can I talk about E for a second? E? Yeah. <laughs> what I mean to say, the question is. Oh, you're at, you're, are you saying E is this part? Uh, no. Yeah, like less you, yeah, like oh. it seems like less you one of his ways is referring to both those people. Yeah, it is. Correct. Yeah, yeah. So like is yeah. E on, on A and C? <laughs> I think that's needlessly complicating it. So I'm just going to convert that into another question. Is, um, but you understand what we're asking in three now? In other words, is it. Is it Davka, don't befriend a ball off, but you can approach him. And then Davka, don't approach an Ishkemos, but you can befriend, or, you know, like, like, or is it just don't befriend or approach these two people? Yeah. Okay. And then the question is, um, what is the consequence of pen? Right. Uh, like how and, and how, what was that alarm for? How does it relate to both? Uh, Clauses of Pasuk 
Cough died. Yeah, Devin. Uh, I'm gonna have two questions. Yeah. One was in question one when we get into the difference between Ba'af and each play mode. Yeah. Also, just to, aside from the difference between Ba'af and Klaima, also, what makes these people characterized as these? Um, like, I'm assuming that it's more than just, but however we highlight the difference between Ba'af and Klaima, like, yeah. to get these people to be defined as these. Okay, what defines each person that way? Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, uh, insofar as for the second thing of let's you learn their ways and yeah. you I would think that quite possibly you'd get the opposite effect. Like a lot of times when you learn about someone or something that is not good, there is plenty to learn. This is not a good thing. I'm not going to do this. Yeah. So why does this wind up being a location for yourself and not like a good thing to do because, or I guess what situation is this a bad thing for yourself instead of a good thing? What's the scenario? Wait, I, I, mean, I feel like I'm missing a, a premise. Start again. Sure. Okay. Let me step outside yeah. for a second. Uh, plenty of times where you could see someone who's doing something bad to themselves mm -hmm. and you could see I do not want to do this thing that this person is doing because it winds up causing harm. Mm -hmm. So then, to our class, so you, I think I'd be playing to see if you are, say, like you approach in each play mode or you are befriending that Baal Ha, that then you could see these things. This person has a lot of miserable things in life because of this way they are. Yeah. So why would that wind up in Pasu Fate be a mokesh for yourself instead of a great learning opportunity of how not to be? So you're asking, I think you're asking the um, the opposite question, or right, the question about opposites, meaning that the the person in the Pasuk, or the Pasuk is, is spelling out the bad decision and its consequences. And you're asking what to, uh, what is the- Can I rephrase this yeah, question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, 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 very uh, convoluted uh, worded question, yeah. Why would you be learning from these bad qualities yeah. to not do them? Right, yeah. So, but, so that is asking about the opposites though, right? In other words, the when uh, when Ariel said let's make sure we're on the same page when Ariel said we haven't had an up, opposite puzzle in a long time then typically the structure is you have a puzzle that has a good decision and a bad decision yeah. right the Chacham does this and the bad person the bad the fool does that and it's talking about two decisions that can be made in the same scenario right <laughs> so now you have a scenario where you have a ball off and an ish yeah. the good decision is to distance yourself and learn from them. And the bad decision is to befriend them and to be snared. So you're asking about like, what would determine, like what is the, like what makes the Chacham do the good thing and the, and the fool do the bad thing? Okay, so then just factually is what I'm asking. That it sounds like we are saying factually, if you befriend these people, you're going to follow their ways. Correct, right? yeah. Okay. So I'm asking on that. Yeah. Factually, yeah. is that true? Okay. And not, when you befriend these people, you'll see this is not a good thing, and then you will distance yourself from them. You'll oh, wind up distancing yourself yeah. instead of winding up seemingly like Okay, so I'm going to tack that onto question four, which is um, uh, uh, like uh, why wh what makes him say that befriending or approaching these angry people um, will be a snare rather than a learning opportunity. Okay. So can I also yeah. ask, uh, I thought this is a real going actually, about um, in what scenario would you befriend them versus stay away from them? Okay. I'm going to, I yeah. think I'm going to make that into a separate question, which is, question. yeah. Right. I mean, it's, that's what it seemed like you were asking. I was asking more factual than yeah that's yeah I know I mean I what before you, you know, uh, actually you know what um I think I'm actually going to put this on question number two um what would prompt you prompt you to do this right to to do either to befriend or approach in Can this I manner question, yeah um what 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 is uh what is an angry person and right. Also, like, what is the yeah, here? yeah. That's what uh, we're asking here. Um, oh, yes. yeah. Okay, so, in I forget which um, target we said that it's more the philosophy, oh, not the actor. Uh, side bone, Yeah. So, how can you determine the philosophy of the angry person or the furious person if they're not expressing actions that represent those philosophies? Okay. So that that question is loaded with assumptions so let's backtrack and do the neutral version of the questions what would be yeah. the question we have to ask first are you able to identify the philosophy more primary than that ask it on the on the puzzle what is their philosophy 
Do they have a philosophy? Do you ask it on the text of the puzzle? Do you know these people have the philosophy? Ask it on the text of the puzzle. What 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 are you asking for a definition for? His ways. What yes. His ways? So that's the basic question, right? What uh what does orhosav mean? Mm -hmm. Okay, orhosav mean in this context. And then you're asking another question and ask it in terms of the pasuk. Which part of the question? You tell me. Okay. Um, like what would be the next question you have to ask? I'm trying to arrange them conceptually, yeah, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. What would be the next conceptual question after what is his ways? Uh, that is another question which, 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 we, uh, which we should ask, which uh, I'll just put that here. Uh, actually, no, this is a, that's actually what I meant by this. What is the consequence of pen? Um, uh, or actually, no, we'll, we'll put that as a separate question. What does Mokesh um, Lanaf Shacha mean? Mokesh Lanaf Shacha mean? Yeah. And yeah, so after Orkosav. So if you know his ways, then I'm assuming then you'd know if he's an angry person or a furious person. Well, okay, so I think the puzzle is assuming that you can identify this person as an angry or furious person. Okay. Like just by knowing uh, by you know the encounter. Okay. Oh, you can. Yeah, so yeah. Because if you couldn't identify the person, the then yeah, then the puzzle wouldn't be telling you anything. Right. Right. Don't right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So the question, the next question is, what does it mean to learn his ways? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Um. Uh. What does it mean to learn his ways? Okay. All right, so now having said that, now ask the question the way you're asking it again, and we'll see if there's more questions there or if this covers it. Okay, okay so. I'm trying to read plug it back. Yeah. In. So do you want to go to someone else? Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. When would you want to learn his ways? When would you want to learn his ways? What makes you assume that you would want to learn his ways? What makes you, I mean, I mean, because it's warning you from it. Well, it's it's interesting because it's warning you. It doesn't sound like it's warning you. Um, I mean, the harm the harm is that you would either, but not that you would want to, right? When, or when, need to. Or well, whenever you say lest, right? That's I don't think that's ever anything that you're wanting to do, right? Like if I say like you know don't don't tr you know try making this road trip without filling up your tank with gas, lest you run out of gas on the way. You're not telling that to someone who wants to run out of gas on the way, right? So in other words, here, you, you, the, 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 like, just, this, I think this is a factual, undisputable level. You are befriending these people, and what's, what's the hab, Mina? I mean, this is just a fine. consequence. Yes, you'll be fine, right? Yeah, pen is a consequence, lest you do this. Like, you know, so, so the, the guy, it's not that he wants to learn his ways, it's that he thinks he's not gonna learn the guy's ways, and then Kamash Milan, you are gonna learn his ways, and it's gonna be a snare for you. So you know? meaning like learning his ways is a consequence of being. being yes. Kind of yeah. 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 So it's not like you're going out of your way to want to learn. No. Way. No. Yeah. Yeah. Which I suppose there are there's room for two havaminas, right? So one is that one havamina is that you're not going to learn his ways, and the other is that even if you did learn his ways, it wouldn't be a snare, right? So let me just let's ask that. What are the two havaminas? Okay. Um, what what would make a person think that he wouldn't learn the ways the ways of uh, of these people, and then what would make a person think that that learning their learning their ways wouldn't be a snare? I mean, also, are we, I mean, is there like this type of person that would do that? Like an arm or like a... Yeah, so who is the audience of this Pasuk, right? I mean, cle clearly it's someone who's in the vicinity of angry people and who could be prone to becoming friends with them. But then the question is like, is it more specific than that? And the practical thing we don't need to ask because it's telling us practically, you know, once we define, once we answer question two, then we'll know practically what not to do. I don't know how to plug my question back. In. Okay, you want? I mean, do you want to just say the way you said it before, and then I'll extract. First, I was asking if these things are not actions but philosophies. How do you determine, or are their actions representing their philosophies? Um, right. And they're saying that 
it's uh what's the word uh orcoso yeah um so so it is their way of being that they're representing the philosophy as I'm assuming. right so presumably it's going to come out in their in their anger or it's going to come out in the way that they live as an angry person right, right? uh and then you would absorb it that way somehow and that's did we ask how do you learn it yeah how how would a person learn his ways simply by befriending or approaching that learn their ways yeah right yeah is there a general way you you define that question usually no okay. we'd have to ask that uh we'll put that onto the movement of the um specifically why is this not specifically what is the mushal of mokesh and what is a nefesh in this context yeah so I, I think we've kind of already asked this but i want to kind of flush it out yeah and um question eight yeah I believe. um no seven um it, both befriending and approaching have the same consequence of learning the ways right um just yeah yeah correct and here's the thing by the way so you know in uh in an ordinary pasuk you could say that well okay, what would be what would be the uh the simplest answers possible or the simplest steps you could take to answering questions one and two simplest well i mean what very simple i mean one who just you know um if he's not necessarily by definition an angry person, he just, you know, sometimes it just has outbursts. Okay. Right. Versus a manicure is like he is a guy who is by nature. Okay. So I well this table average and simpler. Well, how is this? I would say furious simpler. is just a higher level. Simpler. <laughs> you gotta think like Mr. David. Yeah. I don't know. I just... Simplest answer is that there's no difference. Okay. Well, is that yeah? What is Puzzle does it all the time. Right. And remember, this is the, uh, again, this is Matus David's approach, which is that Kafala Dabra Bibi Lashonos, that the puzzle repeats it in different ways, uh, in different words, right? Same, same idea, different words, right? So it's a short question. Uh, yeah, you yeah. Asked. No, but, but, this, but this, 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 is, this is basic Michelin methodology, right? Is that the puzzle will often repeat things in, in different words, right? Now, and I don't know if Matus David is going to say that here, but what argument can you make that this, that there is a difference here? The fact that the bus is differentiated or okay, fine. But then we, we tell the Timsus David is gonna say, Oh, I got my whole derrick wrong. Whoops, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, but that's just uh that, that's just synonyms, you would say, you know. I don't know how to answer the question. Okay, yeah, it's, 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 the answer is not obvious. Okay, well, let me let me just be, be clear about this. There are okay, let me just prove it to you so you don't think that I'm just making stuff up. Um, if you look at um if you do a uh, yeah, Chaim. Yeah, I wanted to say that. Uh, oh, hold on just one second. Just one, just one second. For some reason, my volume is not. Yeah, yeah. All right, sorry. Say again. Nope. Um, no. Can we go oh, back? Now, to now I can hear you. Wait, wait, just a second. Sorry. And I got to turn the volume up. For some reason, the audio setting did not register. Yeah. Yeah. Can you go back to the uh, the password? Is this on the question that I'm about to comment on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I wanted to say that um that I mean like, your your question again was like how could you like what's a hint to say that they're that they're different? Yeah, sorry, yeah, hold, just hold on for one second. I just want to prove that this okay. is a legitimate approach. Okay. Um uh Mitsudas David. Mitsudas, okay, six hundred and twenty-eight times in his commentaries. Okay, he just says Kafa in Vimilo Shonos. It repeats the same idea in different words. Call the double meal shadows. Call the double. So let's find an example in Mishle. Okay, just so I, I can show you like how he, he does this. Um, so this David. And he's not the only one, by the way. It's just that he he does it uh, he does it quite a bit. Um, the other the Rishonim, you know, Mitzvah is not a Rishon. The Rishonim just won't even explain it. Uh, they'll just uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh wow, there's so many of them. I have to go to page three. Why don't you just send that with the Mishlein? Uh, I think maybe I could do that. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. I could do that. I forgot that I could click one more. Um, where? Oops. Where'd he go? Mitsudos David. Mitsudos. 
uh, David in Michele 45 times. Just 45. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's in the just David. Maybe I'm just gonna say, okay, let's let's find a project that, that uh, we've already done. Uh, let's see, Michele um let's just look at this one do you think there is a hint in the process to say yes it? yeah it's the solid hint though um but in this in the passage itself yeah to like argue against him uh is it like a uh, hold on a second. uh yeah here we go yeah to avas hashem evan va'avin umoz neemir melotov so uh two differently weighted stones are an abomination to hashem and scales of deceit are not good so he says, so the way Mr. David says it here, he says, um, uh, So he's saying Lotov and Toeva are just like uh, the same idea, just different words, you know? Um, or another example, and then, uh, and then I'll go to Chaim. Another example is Mishle 21, 14, um, which I think we did. Yeah. A gift in secret will cover up anger and a bribe in the lap, strong wrath. So then he says here, uh, you know, yeah. So it's, it's, like, it's a thing that he does. Yeah. So Chaim, you wanted to answer, how do we know that in our puzzle, it's not just repeating the same thing in two different words? Yeah, I think because, um, because in the second puzzle, uh, there's two, there's almost like two outcomes. There's a uh, learning from his ways yeah. and being ensnared. Um, then it seems like that would be talking about two different people. And like also like the fact that it says uh blah blah the s and then there's like a vav like on both, like in both pasuk. That's like kind of like splitting each pasuk up. Mm. Um, so then I think it could be like a, I guess like an A C B D kind of pasuk. Okay, so the, the S is actually a good. Uh, uh, I, I feel like that that is a good raya. I think the second one though, it's not really staying two consequences. It's staying a chain, right? That you're going to learn from his ways and and take a snare for yourself. So both of those are going on. Whoever you say the first half is, unless I'm misunderstanding you. Okay. Yeah. So the the way I would say that you know that that it is probably two different people is because you, if it was just one person, you could make the whole thing one Pasuk. You could say, He wouldn't have to extend, because the goal of, uh, what is the proverb? Yeah, it's a, it's a short statement, right? So, so Shlomo is not going to waste two Pesukim on one proverb if you can make it into one you know he will take one short idea and expand it into a full pasuk which is why you have all these repeating things in different ways yeah you said before that if it's being repeated it's more working on your emotions and there's value in yes yeah so why wouldn't you be using to to really drive the point home you could say that you could say that also i think though the, that if because in the what do you call it in the uh <laughs> In the tension between, you know, the word pithy is pithy. pithy yeah, pithy means like Perfect. short and concise. Okay. So, in the pithiness of a proverb, yeah. then uh, you don't, even though you want to affect the emotions, you don't want to lose out on the pithiness. So, for example, American proverbs: the early bird catches the worm. Right? Mm -hmm. That's like you know that that's a thing. I don't know if that's true of it, but uh, you know. <laughs> so, but if you said though, you know, the the uh, the I don't know the early sparrow catches the worm and the early blue jay catches the maggot. It just, you don't need it to be that long. And it, like, it, it kind of like diminishes things. Or like an apple a day keeps the doctor away. An apple and kale and lettuce a day keep the doctor, like, you know, like on the one hand, the, uh, you know, more examples affect the emotions, but if it, if it, if it makes the, the, the proverb no longer flowy, then like it's, uh, you know, Bad. Yeah. On your, on your, uh, oh, and sorry, I, I have a counter argument on the argument I just made, though. I, I might. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. 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 So why not just have to? Uh, maybe well, like maybe some of two. You mean like one about a Balhema and yeah. one about? Yeah, you could do. You could say that also. Yeah, that's interesting. That that could be. Um, I was gonna say counter argument against my counter argument is if alter is correct and that this is based on Egyptian proverbs. Then it could be that that he preserved the style of the, the Egyptian proverb, you know, and that he's not doing this based on his own stylistic considerations. 
you know, so then, yeah. okay. I, I think we can work on the ideas now though. So now you had an idea. I think we, we're done with the questions, right? I think we got all the main ones. I mean, I had, I guess I, I had a, a simple and yet not so simple idea. Yeah, no, no. Different. So I, I do want to work on the assumption that these are two different people. So what did you say again about the difference between a and a, a ball off and each I, I, I was, uh, I, I was, I was just stating that, you know, to, if you're an angry, being an angry person doesn't necessarily mean you are by nature an angry individual every single time. It could just be that you have random angry outbursts mm -hmm. or yeah, angry outbursts. Yeah. Um, you know, just periodically okay. there. However, someone who's a man of fury, you know, he's an individual who is, you know, by nature angry and he's not going to just have random outbursts. He's uh -huh. going to have consistent. So it's know, funny. I, I, I like your distinction, but I would say it's the opposite. Oh, it's the and the only reason I say the opposite is ish chemos is plural. So that's the like lots of outbursts. You know, uh, and then ball off to me. I mean, maybe it's not the same thing, but yeah, you want to say yeah, a different I, one? I think something a little different. Yeah. I think an angry person um, is more angry at the world we live in himself and he just walks around angry. I think a furious person expresses that anger outwardly and uh -huh. causes other people around him to be angry. Uh -huh. It's like, a, so, I was saying before, it's like yeah. more angry than just angry. Yeah. Um, but so, so we do have a clue. Okay, which is uh, which one seems worse? But fury, fury right? Worse, yeah. yeah, right. Well, how do you know? <gasps> Just not approach. Don't approach yeah, not don't approach, which is much much more machmir than right. don't be friends, which right? Also, pushing you to say that even approaching him, you'll get some of that. Anger. Correct. Yeah. So that that supports your definition. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was going to take another approach, which is that each uh, chemos is multiple instances of anger. Like you're prone to furious outbursts. Whereas ball off could be that when you get angry, then you get very angry, you know, like, in, 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 and that's, and so in other words, there's two different ways, like you could be two different ways that you could be an angry person. There's like qualitative and quantitative, you know, and there are people, by the way, who are like the qualitative ones where they don't get very angry, but when they get angry, they get furious and act really rashly, you know, but uh, so you just like can't push them over the edge. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I think you're right. I think the angry person, Okay, yeah, so the angry person, yeah, let's say he is an individual who uh, who is you know, constantly angry by nature. Yeah. Um, and that you're saying the, the for the ball off, right? But also just keep in mind, it doesn't necessarily mean that he, you know, just because you're angry doesn't mean you'll you'll show the anger too. Meaning you, you could hide it. Right, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Very yeah, that's kind of what your show was asking about or, earlier about like, how is this expressing itself? Yeah, so yeah. like, do, uh, yeah, so like, yeah, that would make sense because if you do not befriend him, is if you befriend him, then it's more like you're you're closely attached to him. And normally, like, I feel like nobody nobody wants to befriend someone who's vocally angry um, with those outbursts. Also, so you know, unless he does a rant, you know, here and there, which is normal. But uh, you know, someone who's like, because a man of fury, like, you don't want to approach him because you'll never know like when he's going to yell at you. Okay. Correct. Yeah. So hold on a second. Uh, so we have to make, bear in mind uh, kind of with the question of like, um, who is this talking to? That uh, like, we can't, you can't take it too far. To, in other words, there has to be some incentive. Well, or so some I'm, I'm, yeah. think, I'm just thinking. I, yeah, I'm yeah, that, sure. That's, that's fine. Yeah. I, I want to make one more point, though, just in terms of the, the subtlety in the words, which is will be a better translation of Tisra uh, then befriend. I mean, you could say it means befriend, but what is a rea? What is the difference between a rea and a haver in oh, the Hebrew? Like, like a brother, it's like a closer, it's like a comrade. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's close though. I think that's more Kali. far away. Oh. Yeah, colleague, right? Colleague or uh, colleague or comrade, because because the have to recha kamocha is talking about all of Kali Israel, right? That's not saying you have to become buddies with all of Kali Israel. It means that you have to. Uh, treat your fellow Jew, like your fellow is, is the way it's usually translated, you know? So this might not be warning you not to become like best friends with somebody. This might be like, don't enter into a relationship with them, you know? I was thinking the Rhea from uh, Michelle Maros, which is like more like, uh, what's closer, what's closer? That's a Mach Locus uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, anyway, what were you going to say that time? Yeah, I didn't want to, I just wanted to add, I guess it's really a question on the process that I think can help with definition, but yeah. Like, how are we defining ball here? Like ball off. Because if right. you take it two ways, you can say, like I think Ari will say a ball off someone outside of the anger, right? And like that's like that's a positive in a sense. Yeah. Or you think about how like you're saying it, I think, which is like a ball off is like somebody who 
like uh, it's 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 like uh, not na not natural, but it's, it's it's like somebody who um, like uh, it's uh, not instinctual. I don't know. I think ball is like I don't know. I think it's too easy to ball. Yeah. Figure that out. Yeah. Right, okay. So I, I just broke the question down into three parts, right? So what is implied by ball blank versus each blank? What is the difference between off and chema, and why is chema most plural? Yeah. Yeah, Doug. Okay, no bro. Yeah. Okay. Uh, starting with difference between ball off and each play most. So I'd say ball off is someone who has an intrinsic within himself. He's, he gets very angry at people. Maybe he doesn't show it all the time, but people who know him know that very easily he could just anything you do wrong just snap mm -hmm. outburst at you. Each play most someone who more outwardly expresses it. Yeah. Okay. Then the then what this does and the or and what this does accomplish for each of them that people will then not do things that might anger these people because they don't want to get into angry altercations yeah so people are going to in a very scared way not do these things yeah and so that would be something well you could see and try to learn from them well look these people are very successful and so far as people are not going against their will so there is what to learn from that uh -huh. and if you do that you will then also take for yourself a snare. It's not just that you fell into a snare, but you're actually taking yeah. for yourself this snare. But then you're going to take this thing that this is like a good way of going about because if people are successful in that way, but it will then ultimately harm you insofar as as you operate in these ways of getting yourself to be constantly angry with people, that I think will then one make people more on more not want to be around you. And also you just will be acting more irrational. Okay. So you. just to get shot here, uh, make sure I understand what you're saying. You're saying learning his ways means that you're going to, if this person has one of these two types of like angry modus operandi is like ways of operating, then you're going to take on those qualities as well. Yes. And that's going to be a snare because it's going to end up like having bad consequences for you. Yes. Yeah. I okay. The reason why you would do it is because these people do have some sort of success. In the oh, okay. Right. Going them. Right. Okay. That, that's, that, that, so that, that's a good reason. Cause I was going to ask you, is this true? Like, you know, like just cause someone's angry doesn't mean you're going to take on their ways, but if you associate their anger as something that like gets them success or even like gets their way, like let's say they're not successful, right? There are people who are very angry can be very pushy and often get their, what they want, even if in the large scheme of things, they're not successful. Yeah. Okay. Also, there's one other thing also to support that split between Baal yeah. and each remote that for Baal, I think for someone who is not as outwardly expressive of this, yeah. you need to know them better to know this is what's going to be happening. And for each time, all it takes is one time to see this. Uh huh. Interesting. Okay. All right. I, I like the approach, and you inspired another approach to me, which I'll save till the end. Yeah, Yoshua, do you have something? No. Yeah. I also right. wanted to add the ball. Yeah. I think the ball, is somebody who like at the very least can exercise control or something, right? Like that's like that's he's like, a master. Yeah. 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 Like yeah that's right. Like a, that's like a classic definition. Yeah. Right? So, um, so that that just goes back to like what everyone's been saying about like the ball off, so you can like kind of like tamp it down and like hide it and like not express it all the time is because he has a control over it because it's not like something within him mm -hmm. as that's something that like he uses on the way. Yeah. Um so like yeah I'm just saying oh here's another question which we didn't ask. Okay. So we you know I mentioned that it sounds like each is worse, right? But you can't make him too worse because then what? It's the same outcome. Uh well it is the same outcome. But then you can just call the home it. Right. right. So that's why I'm, I think that there would be a, uh, it'd be good if we got something that uh, there's a long lines of what you're saying of, of that. Let me just express this question, Sorry. which is um, that, uh, that they're bad, but in different ways. Mm -hmm. And therefore you need two different pieces of advice to like that, you know, that they, in other words, like with the, in, you were saying that the ball off keeps it internal. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So like there, yeah, we have to work out that way. Yeah, yeah, all right. Maybe one holds a grudge and the other doesn't. Okay, that could be. I, uh, um, yeah. You mean the ball? Which one do you have the, in mind? Which the, one is which? The, the ball up holds a grudge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's an angry person. Are you right? saying that because of what Chaim is saying that it sounds like he does have some mastery over it? Or uh, well, you well, hold I, the grudge? I, the way, the grudge doesn't the way I, I don't... The way I'm learning Chaim's approach is, you know, where like he... Mastery over it just means he... He has control of how he expresses it, but mm -hmm. in reality, like internally, he'll still be angry towards you, and he'll he'll find a way mm -hmm. to you know yeah. hold it against you. It may not be now, it may be in the mm -hmm. future. He's mm -hmm. just holding a grudge. Right. So yeah. here's the interesting thing, though, because you know you would okay. I'm sure there are a lot of talking about anger that warn you about how he will damage you. Right. Like he'll 
like like lash out at you, right? It's interesting that this one is not talking about that. It's talking about how you're going to take on his ways, right? I'm not saying that that's a problem or contradiction. Uh, I'm, I'm just no, you know, like like yeah, I, I would say that like that kind of definition, I would be more inclined to that if it was saying like beware, like don't uh, think that just because he's not expressing it, then it's not going to come out. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, and then, Ellie, are you using hand? You're just uh, yeah. okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Might be more speculative. Yeah. But building on what Capital was saying. Yeah. I think angry and furious people are uh, angry at external things um, and they often blame like oh i'm so mad at x because of x whatever and they don't take accountability yeah and it's very appealing to people to um not take on the account mm -hmm. like, oh it's this problem it's right this problem this problem it's not me that's true that's another thing that is contagious yeah, yeah that's good yeah ali yeah um so i would think uh an angry person is kind of wrapped into their identity. Yeah. Angry, well, a furious person is probably at the moment more severe than an angry person, but very momentary and very much a person, for example, who snaps and loses all control. Yeah. Um, so that's why you need to be completely like unapproaching your furious person. And in terms of befriending, you don't want to befriend someone whose personality revolves around. Okay, yeah, so so then let's take that and also try, I, we really have to focus on what exactly happens when you do befriend these people. I wanna get that a little bit clearer, right? And, and with David's, David has a clear answer to that right now, which is that you view, you associate their anger with a recipe for success, and then you you take on that recipe, right? And then, uh, and then that ends up giving you all the consequences that come to people who are wrathful. So what are your questions on David? Um, it's not really a problem question. It's just trying to flesh it out and just understand it more. Yeah. Also have asked for this question. I do have a different way. I think it could also be a broader. What well, we talk about pen tail or like Yeah. But. Okay. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say my thing also. This is inspired by yours, but and I don't. I think this is a forced read of the puzzle, but it's a true idea that I want to express anyway. So uh, another thing that can happen is if you are around an angry person, what's gonna end up happening. Not that you will take on their behavior, but your your uh, your actions and character will be shaped by the fact that you want to avoid provoking their anger, and then that's gonna that's gonna be a snare for you. And the two classic examples of this are if you have a kid who's raised by a parent who is very like hot headed, the kid will become very like afraid of taking risks or like making mistakes or anything like that. Or if you have a, if you're in a relationship and like, like, you know, like, you know, you sometimes see this and go either way, but like, let's say like, you know, the, uh, the, the, the wife is very, uh, like, uh, you know, like this and the husband has to like walk around in eggshells all the time, you know, like it ends. So the other person's wrath ends up like warping your behavior because you don't want to provoke it, you know, um, and you're not taking on their qualities, but you're are, you are kind of like, you're becoming like the concave to their convex in a way, like, you know, um, I, I think that that's a force read to the puzzle because it's saying you'll learn their ways and it does sound much more like what David is saying. Yeah. Um, there's one, you know, aside from two things. Yeah. First thing is also in the Mokesh. Yeah. Um, I think that as you're coming to these people, I don't think, especially if you're going to be befriending them, that I think a lot of this is not conscious that you're taking this on. Yeah. Um, you're not going to say like necessarily, oh, this is such a great thing. I'm going to want to do this. But you just see was personal successful. Right. I've been thinking much about it. You just see that that led to it. Yeah. And then you get ensnared into that. Yeah. Yeah. You, um, not directly related, but uh, a good marshal of that kind of influence. Did you ever see the movie The Devil Wears Prada? No. Oh, such a oh, great movie. Lot, such a great movie. All right, fine. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. One of the best Meryl Streep movies uh, ever. Yeah, all right. Such a good movie. You guys gotta, gotta watch more movies. Do you have a top twenty list of movies by Robert Shanless? I could easily make one. I mean, uh, like not top twenty, so I can make. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I wanted to. Uh, so the idea that you were expressing about the puzzle, it yeah. reminded me a lot of the, uh, especially because you used the uh, wife example. Yeah. It reminded me of the puzzle we did last year. The dripping. Uh, the, the dripping. The the contentious woman, contentious yeah, wife, yeah, and the yeah, friends yeah, and the like house of friends. How, yeah, yeah, how yeah, yeah. 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 And how like she's like kind of like poisons a lot. Yes, of correct. Like yeah. That, that reminds me of a, yeah. And I feel like angry people, and maybe that's why I'm thinking about this. The angry people have that same effect on those yeah. around them, not even people who are close friends with them. It's just yeah. like it's toxic. That's yeah. you know, yeah. 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 Um, so right. the, the more generalized way that I think you could take pen or yeah. being either their ways either being a 
broader, they, they get other people to do things by other people being afraid of them or other people not wanting to be a certain way. So they're going back one way mm -hmm. or there are ways being what I think Yoshua was saying mm -hmm. of looking to not make themselves accountable. And then there's that. Mm -hmm. I think both of those are expressed by each of these people. I think of those are ways that you can learn that you can, that this is telling you don't get other people to do things because they don't want your, you to act some way. And also don't push accountability off of yourself. Mm -hmm. Because those will both lead to a more clear experience. You're was saying people who are angry tend to blame external things rather than like looking internally. Uh, and so accountability would be the opposite quality. And so I'd say that in a more general way than just anger and fury or all this, mm -hmm. but just taking like more basic what is happening with these people and don't copy that. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yeah. So let me just take brief notes on this and then we'll, we'll uh, we never come back to this tomorrow. So, so that's not far to. Yeah, uh, sure. Other approaches. Yeah. yeah, sure. Uh, so Zoe's basic approach is that um, that by by hanging around uh, angry people uh, who tend to get their way and achieve uh, certain types types of success, you will unconsciously take on those qualities uh, in order to get those benefits, not realizing that you're picking up other uh, liabilities. For example, like, um, like you know, ruining uh, other, other liabilities of anger, right? I.e., uh, or e.g., uh, like ruining relationships, avoiding accountability. Is that a good like? Yeah, okay. that was pretty, I'm quite impressed. Okay, all right, so let's, yeah. Yeah, I want to add to that. Like, like you can, it's just like you can see it, like especially in like children. Yeah. You know, like I'm not all the I'm not talking to kids, but they get clear illustration. It's like you know, you always see like the kid in the candy shop, like yelling and screaming, and like eventually parents get in. And yeah. The other kid like sees him and he's like, Yeah. Oh, I can get me some of that power too. Yeah. 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 I, I I totally forgot because this is a Monday. I forgot to uh, read the summary of the puzzle we did last time. I want to get into that habit, so I'll, we'll end with that. Um, let's see if this is it. Yeah, uh, so we did do not rob a destitute person because he is destitute and do not oppress a poor person in the public square for Hashem will take up their grievance and he will steal the soul of those who steal from them. And so what we did on on uh, the last one we did on Thursday was uh, the Derek Nister, right, which is the two faculties within, within you, the intellect and the psyche are allegorically depicted as poor insofar as they are entirely dependent on you, the prime mover, for their survival and well-being, since neither faculty is capable of caring for itself without the exercise of free choice. Our puzzle warns us not to rob these faculties of what they need in order to thrive, a crime that is usually committed against one in a misguided attempt to serve the other. In other words, you usually will rob from your intellect in order to like make your psyche happy, you know, or rob from your psyche because like this is good for my perfection, you know. Uh, when you rob one of these faculties, you're committing a crime against your own nefesh, and the nefesh here refers to the integrated organism that is you, since a destabilized nefesh cannot function on an optimal level. This consequence is described as being carried out by Hashem insofar as he is the one who established our nature. And in that sense, he is the one who will retaliate on behalf of the victim to exact retribution for the injustice. Okay. That was the... That was the Miri. Uh, that was the Miri. Yeah, yeah, correct. Okay, let's stop here for today. All right. Um,